Hey, what's up everybody? Chris back with another product tech tip. And this week, we're gonna dive into the basics of CNC machine enclosures. We'll take a quick look at what they are and why engineers use them. So let's get into it. So to start off, let's go through what a CNC machine enclosure is. It's a protective case or housing made from solid material, typically metal and or plastic, built using automated CNC machines. The process involves using CNC mills to cut, carve, and shape raw materials into customized enclosures with precision and intricate detailing. The computer-controlled process ensures minimal error and allows for complex designs to be executed with high accuracy. So we do have many different metals such as aluminum, steel, and stainless steel, as well as plastics such as Delrin, Acetyl, UHMW, acrylic, and polycarbonate, which can all be used to build enclosures using CNC machining. Among these materials, aluminum is the most popular one as it's very easy to machine. So why would you want to use a machined enclosure? Well, engineers often go for machining when making enclosures because it offers incredible precision. You get highly precise enclosures with sheet metal fabrication too, but machined enclosures can be slightly more accurate. Plus, machining allows engineers to create highly customized designs that cater to specific project needs. Whether you need intricate cutouts, threaded holes, or unique shapes like pockets or grooves, CNC machining can handle it. Now, on top of that, CNC machine enclosures are also tough enough to handle harsh environments that are going to include things like heat, moisture, or any other physical impacts. So, if durability is a priority, machine enclosures are going to be the way to go. Sure, machining might seem pricey in comparison to sheet metal fabricated enclosures, but it's worth it if your priorities are ultra durability and precision. You get enclosures with amazing precision, making it a smart choice, especially when you're working on prototypes or low to medium production runs. It is essentially a great option when you're prototyping as you can quickly turn CAD designs into functioning enclosures, enabling faster testing and iteration during product development. Machine enclosures are also highly popular due to the flexibility offered by being a subtractive manufacturing process. This allows component mounting locations to be placed anywhere, providing incredible versatility and an unmatched range of possibilities. For machine enclosures, standoffs can be any thread size, diameter, or height, ensuring a perfect fit. Now in contrast, sheet metal standoffs are pre-made and may not fit as precisely. You also get full control over the exterior. Machine enclosures generally look cleaner as the exterior is made from a single piece rather than multiple flanges meeting at corners. Now let's go through some applications of machined enclosures. Machined enclosures are a big deal in the aerospace industry since they need to handle extreme conditions without adding too much weight. They're also widely used in electronics because many precision electronic devices need protection for sensitive components like PCBs, sensors, and batteries. You'll also find them in industrial equipment too, where they house things like gears, motors, and other mechanical parts. Plus, they're pretty widely used in the automotive and healthcare industries as well. Now, let's move on to the design process. Now, at this stage, I think it's important to think about your project needs. Here are a few design tips to make the machining process easier for you. First off, remember that while CNC machines can handle complex shapes, simplifying your design can save you time and be cost effective. Now, if you do have an enclosure with holes or slots on multiple faces, why not consider moving those details to the same face if possible? This will cut down on setup costs and save you some money. Also, with machined enclosures, thick sidewalls are not hugely beneficial since they can make the case heavy. That said, they do make manufacturing easier because thicker walls are quicker to machine than thinner ones. With thinner features, it is necessary to slow down the cutting process and use additional work holding, which will lead to longer lead times. So you're gonna to wanna to strike a balance here. Next, if you're working on electronic enclosures, think about adding vents or heat sinks to help with heat dissipation. For example, our sister company, 45 Home Lab, adds fins to the top of their cases to boost surface area as more surface area means better heat dissipation. And of course, start with prototypes to identify and resolve design flaws before committing to a full production run. This will save you a lot of hassle down the line. And with that, we come to the end of this week's Prototech Tip video. We hope that this video gave you a good overview of machine enclosures. Now, if you're looking for more tips or more detailed information on machining topics like corner radii or finishing options, we've got you covered. 
check out the playlist with all of our machining tech tips. It's linked in the description below. So if there are any additional topics about machine enclosures that you would like us to cover, please feel free to share your suggestions in the comments below or simply hit us up at info at protocase.com or info at protospacemfg.com. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Until next time, take care.